Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. In the chapel, we have Proverbs 12 17. A truthful witness gives honest testimony, but a false witness tells lies. So, just the same struggle I've had all along, and this Bible verse just keeps it cut and dry, black and white, right, wrong. Um, doing my best to let others say what they want to say and just sucking it up and going on just not caring how it turns out does that make sense um me living my best life without worrying about others um let me see here i just noticed that the auto was on this there we go okay sorry nothing like changing a setting in the middle of doing a podcast who knew no okay so moving on totally hooked um i have one thing to show you and it is the summer top that i was working on but it's not going to be a summer top for me i'm going to keep it i don't there's parts of it i don't like the way it turned out or whatever um but i did make modification and i've changed what it's going to be it is not a summer top it is a swimsuit cover so for those of you who have followed for a long time, you know that um, I try to maintain a family vacation. Uh, I block a week and my kids come sometimes together, sometimes overlapping, sometimes totally separate. But I have one week that the kids can come and we do touristy things and we go to Branson, Missouri at this point is the only place that we're going. Um, so we're doing that again. Uh, and so I own a swimsuit and I don't really go swimming a lot because I'm heavier set and I'm very conscious of it, which I'm told by people I shouldn't be, but I have a black swimsuit, just a one piece old fashioned granny swimsuit. And I am going to use this as a cover. Um, it fits me. Okay. The, um, neck opening is a little bit see it comes over like this and I'm not real comfortable with that as a shirt because it falls down blah 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 but as a swimsuit cover I don't care um, I did modify one thing I did not sew the seams all the way down I left the bottoms kind of open so that you know my thought was I kind of have a big behind and <laughs> I'm scared people think I'm just wearing this um, with the black swimsuit so I don't want them thinking that, so I will put this over, and I want them to be able to see that I have a swimsuit on. I'm, I don't know why it matters. I haven't woven the ends, so you know me. I, I think I say that with every project I show you guys. Haven't woven the ends yet. Um, I haven't. <laughs> no different here. Um, I do have quite a lot of this left over. This is one unused skein, and it's 240 meters. Oh, 262 yards. And then I have two partial balls because I was working the two sides at the same time. You know my principle. If I'm making a mistake and I'm making it consistently, it becomes part of the pattern to a point where I had two of the same size hooks. I'd work one side, then the other, and back and forth. So anyway, I do have that done. And I know I have enough yarn to make something else. I don't know what I'm going to make. Um... It just depends. I haven't really given it much thought because, as you know, I have some other things on my plate. And those other things are crochet things and stuff. So I'm going to set that one aside. We've talked about it. It's done. It's over. All right. Moving on to in the basket. So first off, uh, if you remember, I started this poncho. I had someone in mind for it and I don't like how this top is, um, how the, it goes around the neck. This person has a tendency to pull at clothing and if you look where it was joined, it is already starting to come apart. So I am reusing this and have taken another approach and added in a few colors and okay. so. You guys saw the kit that I got that had baby blankets with the pink and the blue. I just got it and I wasn't, I'm not making baby blankets. I'm just not. Um, so I have 
pink that is super soft and that's what it's called is super soft um and i think i just showed you guys this like last week or the week before i can't remember exactly when it came uh, the dog ate the ball band yeah worm is still on his thing but i have the blue that's also the super soft and that is the one that's attached right now but if you look i also have the cream and the lilac in there and i'm doing five rows of double crochet across um i don't even remember how many i chained to be honest i went like this so i'm going to make a rectangle and then i'll show you how it will come together and it will be like this it, it's just a big rectangle let me see if i can hold it up here and it's going to look like this as a poncho type thing okay so kind of be a wrap um it will have fringe on it because um i'm making it for krista who is mentally challenged and she likes to play with strings and you can tell i haven't woven ends in anything and so she um likes to fiddle with her hands so i'm going to use all the colors that are in it and make fringe on the front so that she can play with it um i have that i'm going to simply repeat the blue um i know in the picture this isn't really looking lilac it's a really pretty lilac um so I'm actually crocheting off of this and frogging it as I go. So, yeah, the cream and the lilac will soon take that up when I get to the next set of rows, and that will be done, gone, and over with. And I'm just repeating those rows, uh, and it's just simple double crochet. And then the way you put it together is what's going to make it a poncho. So, this is the crochet that I'm working on when roommate is around. Okay. Uh, yes, it's going to be a Christmas present. Yes, roommate knows all about that one. But last week I told you I really needed to get, this is September, I needed to get started on the personalized sweater for roommate for Christmas. And that I was hoping not to bomb. Um, it's the, what do they call it? Sheep to shawl. But it's not, it's sheep to sweater, I guess. I, I don't know. I'm doing the whole process. I spun it. I dyed it. And now I'm crocheting it. So I'm just going to go over. I think I've covered most of these steps in other videos. So I started with this. This is the back. I took measurements off of another shirt. Um, yes, I broke into roommate's closet. You know, took a shirt. Um, you can see I've gotten kind of messy. All these notes. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so this is where I'm going to show you what I've done and then I'm going to tell you what I've done um, in two separate parts and you won't have to listen to the whole thing all the way through. So I have gotten this far on the two front pieces because as you see from the drawing, I decided to split it and put buttons down so it's a button up. Um, these are the two. I made simple um, buttonholes throw in I just skipped a stitch and chained one and then when I came back I chained I stitched in that chain making a buttonhole and I literally just put them a measurement apart I haven't even measured the rows but I will continue to put the same number of rows so it may have four buttons depending on how you know the measurements are I just eyeballed it and thought hmm this is about as far apart as buttons are and so I have the first one done and I did want a button on the ribbing so that I put it dead center of the ribbing and then was just deciding you know and I'm like well that's about what it is on a shirt and I just eyeballed it going hmm, my shirts look like they have that many buttons you know that big of a space in between the buttons so it is a sweater so I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter as long as I'm consistent with the space between them I don't really think it'll make a difference so this is one and I believe I am nine rows up from the ribbing um, and I did the ribbing with the smaller hook so that it holds its ribbing its bounciness um, holds it a little tighter um, so this is nine rows up on this side and nine rows up I just pulled two ah just pulled two out but 
okay, too short of nine rows up from this one. Uh, I did add on some yarn, uh, the small ball that I had started with. If you remember, I had two big ones like this and then the little one. I used up the little one first. And then I added on to the big one on the outside. So the front is being made from this one ball center pull on one side and outside round on the other. I know that makes sense to crocheters. If you're a beginner, um, there is a place I'm gonna send you to get all this information, okay? So anyway, so these are the two front parts and I've actually stopped working on the front part and went to working on the back part. I started with the back part and then stopped after I got through to the ribbing and got the, um, thing done and got the crochets going so I am only about five rows in and this is a piece that I'm working on okay I only work on it when roommate is uh, at work so I have a driveway alarm <laughs> when I'm done and, and this is why I stopped in the middle of this row uh, roommate hit the driveway the alarm went off I wound it around this and shoved it in. There's no telling how you're going to see me pull it out of this bag because I just shove it in, close the bag, and throw it in the other room real quick. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'm doing okay keeping a secret. Not really sure, but I'm trying. That being said, um, for those of you who have followed a long time, I had struggled with a way to track what I was doing on this when I got the final because my paper looks horrible and half of it even I can't decipher and I'm like what did I do there what was my thinking so yeah um I started a blog just one of those free little ones the pictures are taken with my camera the yarn looks totally different in color depending on where I'm at um, I think in some of the pictures it looks green and blue. It's not. It's still the same green and gray. It is the same piece. Um, I didn't go into a lot of backstory. I put a link to this website or this channel and they can go back and um, see what they want to see. Uh, I'm not going to get into where I've been or how I got to where I'm at right now that's not the point of this so i also have decided that i'll probably post other projects there because you don't want a website with just one thing on it so for fun please don't criticize please don't you know i posted some pictures of some other things that i've made yes the pictures are a little bit older but it's because i have a tote full of stuff that i have not had modeled or um taken for my taken pictures of for my portfolio um so yeah there's that <laughs> and you can find the link this sounds really terrible uh because it's a free one the the blog website is kind of funky so it's in the description below it's in last week's and i'm going to copy and paste it every week and put it in the description below um with our contact stuff uh it is what it is okay I don't know that I can keep up with everything that way I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna post weekly or any of that I will take pictures of the progress and notes on how the project but that blog is where I'm gonna decipher the notes and tell you exactly what I did um, like I said I did Google how to make a personalized sweater and it, it it just sends you to patterns, general patterns of you can make this with this size or this with that size. And you have to use this yarn and that yarn. Well, this yarn is hand spun, so there is no comparing it to other. Um, it's farm wool, you know, and you don't want it. It's not itchy, itchy. Um, those that no, no, I always do the neck that my neck is the most sensitive spot. And if it's itchy around my neck, I don't use it for anything next to skin. Um, so this is going to be a sweater and it's okay to wear on your arms. It, it feels okay. I don't even know at this point if I will have um, sleeves on the sweater. It may be a sweater vest. Depends on how much yarn I have, 
what I can get done and go from there. Okay. I will say that if I don't have enough to make full length long sleeves for it, it will be a sweater vest. I'm not doing this three quarters, you know, which I honestly considered it. I know I'm not going to do short sleeve sweaters. I hate those. Um, I just don't get excited about it. I don't know. I don't like the look of the sleeve. I don't, I don't know. It's just me because, you know, you'll have the sweater and then you'll have ribbing up here. I don't know. I just don't. So I did consider three fourths because a lot of people pull their sweaters up anyway. But I, I'm really leaning towards full length or nothing. We'll see what I end up with. Okay. If I have a lot of yarn left over and really want to do it, fine. I will. If I don't, I won't. I, I'm just, it is a see as you go kind of thing. Um, my biggest fear with it is that it'll be too small. Too big, I'm not worried about. It's a sweater and it can be kind of loose. Um, too small, I would frog it and start over. Um, and then adapt my pattern. And I probably would be going back to read the web page to see how I did it. <laughs> so that's where the blog comes in. And if you know, RJ has changed for many, many years. Um, I believe... 10 or 11 years he blogged daily I am not doing that it's just for projects um, I don't even know that I'll do it weekly I just will update it when I make something uh, I thought about putting on this one as since I got it done but I thought right now I'm not going to uh, it is what it is that's all I really can say, and it is going to be whatever it turns out to be. I'm not planning it. I just wanted a place for an accurate record of what I did with that sweater. Um, I'll share when I, I... I like that blogging. I've always journaled, so it's kind of therapeutic for me. But there won't be any personal stuff on there. It's just when I'm stressed, I'll... Put something on there that I've made or I'll you know who knows I, I really don't know what direction it's going I know that that sweater will be on there and from there I have no clue so enjoy the journey because you and I are gonna figure it out together um, all right that's everything that I have crochet because I've been concentrating on that uh, with the exception of one thing and I'm going to put it at the end because I have to go and get it and it, it's going to take. So this blog will actually have one splice in it. It's not different takes. It's just something I have to deal with. You'll see. You'll see. Um, in the pots, I don't have anything. On the wheel, I still have this same wool that has done this and I'm spinning the second pound of it. I don't know if I will end up dyeing it like that because I hate going back and trying to recreate the same dyed. I, I like to do it in what they call lots and I think a pound will be enough but if it's not I don't know that I'm gonna go and try and make more so that I can I'm not commercial I can't reproduce it exactly as I did the first time so I don't want to I mean the the shade could be off even a few degrees and look different so I don't know I am spinning it and maybe I'll just make something different with it I don't know uh RJ's world he's been rodeo and training horses he's been working his little Thursday job at the sale barn and he's been super busy the weather's changed uh it's nice and he's been getting out more and doing so he's Struggling right now to figure out if he's going to be able to go with us on vacation at any point. Um, which takes us right into in the farmhouse. And I am going to stop this right now. Do what I have to do and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so in the farmhouse, I'm back. Uh... This week I got a message on Facebook from a friend 
and her world has changed too and she was looking to rehome this beauty right here this is and i'm gonna try and this is a drum carter now y'all know that i do have a drum carter this drum carter while it's the same width as mine it is a little bit fancier than mine it's adjustable okay so a drum carter is what you use to uh line up the fibers on your wall whoops and i've got to push it back because it's hitting the edge there and you turn and the wool goes up in here and all the fibers are done and you can make beautiful bats with it now the one thing i like about this is number one it is adjustable it's got three different wheels smaller size bigger size this one has smaller size or bigger size smaller size you can change the ratio and the tension and you know make bigger bats the other thing that it has let me see if i can don't know that I can let me turn this is it's got the bar um, I used a brush a handheld brush and would go across it um, and that to me is a big difference it has some love cracks right here it has a, it the handle removes so that's another thing is if you know mine um, mine was not very fancy it was very dull um, and see this one here has love cracks right there too so it is what it is but I like it the finish is kind of cobwebs you know that kind of thing um, for a hobbyist this is great um, it's a step up from mine and mine is missing a pin right now and I can't use it so until I either find that pin or find a way to replace the pin, it goes in the end and keeps this wheel spinning with the handle and not slipping. So until I find that pin, I can't use it. So now I have this one. And I am in love with this little guy. Okay. So but you can see the crack there, you know. And it is an Ashford, so I am very blessed with that. I like it. Um, very, very excited to get this. Um, I've noticed that a couple of the wheels have cracks, but I think if I just oil it up, let it sit, soak, I don't think the cracks will get worse. Um, that's the only thing is I really just don't think they'll get worse. So there it is. And I've added this to my hobby, you know, and there is actually wool on there. I don't know. Let's get it back there. So you can see it's going to do this is what's making that noise and that's that brush that beats it all down beater bar is what i think they call it. i don't know so yeah i am super excited to get this i probably will be cleaning it up and all that good stuff and playing with it yes so i do have some wool that i need to wash and get done i have some that i need to spin in the grease um but I am very, very happy with my new addition to my arsenal. Um, it sounds silly, but yes, it's an old beat up used cart. I love it. Um, it's amazing. I, like I said, I am going to oil it up and I may try to seal this off so that because this is, this, uh, is chipping, you know, the finish is chipping off of it. And I don't want that in my wool, but I'm not going to do the whole thing because this is the only part that's important where you feed in the wool. So I may just polyurethane it, you know, a little bit, not a thick polyurethane, ooh, slick, just like a wood varnish, maybe even just something with a satin finish so that it slides up there and goes on. Um, it'll probably change the color of this. Don't care. It's mine not even going to worry about it it doesn't have to look pretty it just has to function the way i need it to and this little beauty will so it's a step up i love it um i i'm super excited to even use it so yeah that happened and that's why the break i had to go get it and bring it out here because earlier the dogs were playing and it about got knocked over and i about freaked i was like <gasps> so yeah <laughs> i haven't had time to do much with it or anything so, and you actually can remove this 
uh, you can, it, it's a little bit, I don't know, coarser than mine maybe? I think on this it's coarser than mine, but that is not, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Don't care, don't care, don't care. I love it. So that went on this week. Um, the only other thing that's been going on is I've been working. So I know that doesn't make for a great in the farmhouse section, but there's no gardening. Um, it's been too hot. Everything's burnt up. We're in drought conditions. Uh, so it, it's not really a country life right now. I'm just crocheting and trying to get things done. Um, I've only spun on that maybe 30 minutes since the last time you saw it. So it really doesn't look any different. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm not going to get into I'm trying not to repeat and show you all the same things. I want to show you progress. So, um, again, I want to thank everybody who stuck with me. I know things have changed and, and life changes, you know, and I just want to make sure that I'm documenting my journey. Um, yeah, that's, and the blog thing is just, it started because I was looking for a way to share with you guys. And I, like I said, I penned it all out and I've been doing, but it's hard to hold up a journal and say, see, so, um, and my journal looks worse than that piece of paper. Because I'm like, I changed to this. I change, I have to start at the beginning and recreate those steps to end up with the final ones. Because each day, if I change something, it's like, well, I decided to change this. <sighs> yep. So I wrote it down and I can go back and change. But then I'd be frogging as I went. And I want to have the final how I ended up doing it. As opposed to this is the process to how I got there. So, yes, I'm working the process. But I'm only posting to the blog the, this is what I'm, my finished product came from, if that makes sense. Uh, other than that, I think I'm going to get off of here, put this together and get it posted. Uh, please check out the blog. I mean, it's nothing fancy. There is one page. Um, it's got some pictures of my work in the past. It's got the blog that's it there's not a whole lot about me on there um it is what it is i do plan on taking some pictures and if i can when the sweater's done i will link back to the blog posts and have them in a category that's in a perfect world will that happen i don't know i tried figuring out the categories Let's just say I am not RJ. <laughs> I'll be honest. He did his blog and he did it flawlessly. And um, I haven't figured out the category thing yet. So um, it'll get there. If I can't do that, then at least I'll have pictures. And I did bring my, um, they're, I call them my crosses, but they're my displays from the booth where we would display garments. And I brought those and I'm going to use those and probably a sheet of some kind as a backdrop to, uh, I think I used to put a pillowcase over it and I'm going to go back and make sure I snap pictures of everything that I've made so that, um, I have a record. I have my binder portfolio and I have not, um, updated it. I don't have a good camera. It's something that I, I strive for, something that I really would love to be able to get. But right now, this is my camera. This is my internet. This is my camera. This is everything. Um, with the exception of the camera for my laptop. I have a small little laptop and it is what it is. So, uh, it's... It's just life changes, and no, I'm not as big and fancy as I used to be, and we don't have the big lights that we used to use in the barn. Well, we, they're at the farm, but I don't have them, and I'm not going to make the lighting perfect and all that. It, this is simply a record, and I appreciate those that have followed all along and those that understand life changes. So, 
If you're interested in following more, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all next week. Bye.